Why were eight of the country's nine provinces declared as drought disaster areas? And what prompted the launch of the Israel-South Africa Water Week? What are the key challenges faced by Limpopo province's smallholder farmers? And how can the youth become active participants in the agricultural sector? What time is it? It's question time. Welcome to the show. My name is Mpo Tseidu. Recently, Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs Minister Des Van Rooyen declared eight of the country's provinces except Gauteng as disaster, uh, or rather drought disaster areas. The announcement came in the wake of the Department of Water and Sanitation reporting that dam levels continue to decline week on week. This is placing increasing pressure on the national water supply system. Meanwhile, top water conservation experts met last week during the launch of the first annual Israeli South Africa Water Week. For its part, Limpopo's Department of Agriculture and Rural Development is rolling out dialogues on the advancement of youth economic development in agriculture as part of its programs for the Youth Month. We are live and therefore you can call us and air your views. The numbers to dial is 89 our Twitter handle at question time to four. My guest today, Honorable Arthur Lenk, is the Israeli ambassador to South Africa. And uh, Mejoy Machoche is the Limpopo MEC for Agriculture and Rural Development. Let me welcome you both uh, today. MEC, the reason we called you is because a week or two ago when we were hosting the NYDA we received a lot of calls from Limpopo and all of them were talking about agriculture so let's talk about this agriculture young people in Limpopo seem to be interested in the sector how are you assisting them what is happening in as far as your department is concerned and the agricultural sector uh, good evening Paul and good evening to the viewers um, it is quite interesting that uh, our youth are now becoming to be interested in agriculture. Mm. Uh, as a department, there's a lot of uh, opportunities uh, in, in, in the department for what we are uh, assisting our youth mm. out there. The only thing that is a challenge, uh, our youth don't know the advantages that are in the department. Now, it is our, our responsibility as a department to conduct road shows to try and attract them to, to agriculture as a sector. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do al also have um, bursaries. Uh, remember, uh, most of the youth think that uh, agriculture is uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sector that is for older people. Yes. They actually for forget the fact that uh, they are the people who has to take over from the oldies. Mm. Um, we do have bursaries. We also have programs in the department that can also assist them. There's the one that is called CASP, it's Comprehensive Agricultural Program, mm. where we assist them with um, 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 agricultural inputs. We buy them fertilizers, we buy them seeds. We also buy them um, plants, uh, I mean, a, a machinery mm -hmm. to, to, to enable them to to do their their, their work you see um, i'm not trying to be stereotype or generalize but ordinarily farming is for Afrikaner uh, short khaki shorts and you know those socks that go up to that uh, almost to their knees and grasshopper shoes and you know, there's no glamour in it. Young people are interested in glamour, but I was quite, um, you know, impressed that indeed, like I'm saying, there were a lot of calls um, from that province mm. where young people were saying, we want to farm. Um, it's not actually, uh, you are actually stereotyped, like you say. Yeah. Agriculture d did not actually start by um, those white farmers with khaki shorts and whatever. Our grannies and our, our, our grandfathers mm. used to actually, uh, you know, till the soil yeah. with a hoe mm. f for us to survive. 
And um, yes, yes, uh, like you, right, you rightfully say that uh, our youth think is that wearing of boots and khaki shorts. Mm. There is a lot in agriculture. There is a lot of uh, 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 um, academic uh, direction that the, our youth can take. Mm. If you don't want to wear those khaki shorts, you can come in and go to school. We, we, we have just opened two colleges, I think you are aware, in mm. Limpopo, that were not active before in terms of uh, uh, educating our youth. Uh, we've got uh, Mazivandela College, we've got Kotombisilika College, they have been there but they were conducting short courses only. Okay. Uh, recently, we, we, we are now having a diploma, which is NQF level six. You can be a soil scientist, you can be an agron agronomist, you can be a vet, a veterinary, you can be, um, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, actually opportunities, academic opportunities. You can run agriculture in office but if is, you want to. Is there money? Why should a young person whose friends are tenderpreneurs driving in fleshy cars, uh, perhaps in mining, uh, opt for agriculture? Is there money there? Will they be able to make the same amount of money that their colleagues or friends are making in mining and in IT? They can make more than that. They can mo make more than that. Um, there is money. Okay. The, the unfortunate part with our young people, they need to be educated how to use money. Uh, for instance, if you, the, you, you give them um, money to, to um, start farming, they'll think with these big cars with the round wheels, yes. and in, in no time, he comes back and say, can the department help me? Mm. We've got the department of, uh, um, land reform and rural, rural development, okay. which also assist in, in, in giving them money. After they buy you a farm, they actually uh, re recap you so that you can, you know, um, uh, revitalize okay. your farm, yeah. Ambassador Lenk, how is Israel playing a part in ensuring that the agricultural sector in South Africa is indeed uh, sustainable? Well, you know, since the time of the Bible, my country has been a source of drought, but not anymore. We have enough water. We have top-level agriculture that we export to Europe, to America, to South Africa. And I think that uh, the, the MEC is right when she says, there's a lot of money to be made in agriculture. If you grow the best oranges or the best persimmons and you're able to export them to Europe, there's lots of money to be made. You have to use modern technology and technique, run it like a business. It's possible to be very successful in agriculture, even small-scale farmers in South Africa. And how are you playing a role here in South Africa? Well, what we've done is we're sharing some of our experience. Last week, we had a week-long um, project of three seminars, one in Johannesburg, one in Cape Town, and one in Durban that we called Israel SA Water Week. Mm -hmm. And we had over 600 business people from South Africa came, heard from experts in different companies in Israel, learned about some of the technologies for desalination, for recycling, for water management in a professional, advanced 21st century way. South Africa needs to do it because you don't have very much water either. And you need food security. You need to be able to produce the fruit and the vegetables and the mealies that South Africa needs. You can't afford to buy it from Europe. You have to be able to do it yourself and we think that some of our experience in Israel can be of help. What happened at, at that conference? Well, in four days, there were over 300 meetings of business people from Israel and business people from South Africa. Connections were made. One of the messages uh, that we tried to share is that water has value. Water is a resource. Mm -hmm. it does, to give it away for free takes away of its need because you just don't have enough. In Israel, we, m water, we manage water like you manage coal or diamonds or oil. Mm. It's, a, it's a national resource. And so we're careful about it. And so when farmers want water, they have enough, but they have to make sure that they use every drop correctly. Mm -hmm. Why in the world would a farmer use drip irrigation, which is what they should be using, if it's free? Why spend the money for technology if you're just giving water away? You can't do that anymore. Let me see. Um, it is Youth Month, and um, if 
the uh, sector is to, 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 to be sustainable. I mean, I'm glad he has also raised the question of food security. You need to bring in young people on board. Let's just talk to young people on that. Can you please repeat the question? I'm saying we need to bring in young people on board yeah. in this agriculture sector. Yes. And perhaps I, I just wanted you to perhaps uh, uh, talk to uh, these young people uh, who may not have considered agriculture as a field to pursue. Um, we are running a road, road shows, mm -hmm. like I said earlier on, just to educate them. Mm just to share with them oh. what we are doing in the department. And also, we are uh, every year, I think Limpopo is the only province oh. in the country that is every year in June, it's uh, a hosting a young enter uh, entrepreneurial uh, award for young people. B just to, uh, you know, uh, 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 make our, those, those, those young farmers yes. that are, Pro productive mm -hmm. out there to try and uh, 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 you know um, um, attract yes. their peers to say here are we this is what we have this is what the department is doing for us and and also uh, to we have been running summits in the five five districts okay. to interact with the with the, with the with the young people for us to tell us their their challenges. Yes, m many of them are talking about um, 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 lack of land. Yes. You can't be a farmer without a piece of land. Hold it there. Let's take Philip. Philip, you're calling us from around Johannesburg. Welcome. Hi. Um, um, I would like to comment to that. You guys went straight to Israel, which is excellent. They are the be best with water conservation. Israel was, was a dry desert, and now look, they made it a nice, lush place. They export fruit and vegetables, oh, and we find in South Africa we can ba barely do that. So I would like to thank you for going straight to Israel. That is a very good, good decision. And also, to get youth involved in th this, you must make it seem like an enjoyable experience, something everybody would want to tweet about, Facebook about, about saying, oh, I want to be a farmer, or, oh, I want to, I want to tweet mine. About the price of goats. Uh, Phyllis, tweet yeah. about the price of goats and um, spinach and all that. Yeah, yeah, the prices are very, very high there, but then if it makes so much pollution and it's so expensive, why do we keep ma making it? It's honestly, okay. if we are going to make gold and all that to export, but it's pollution, then why do we think to, to go and, you see, it ruins the farmlands because the pollution from there goes to the farms. It destroys the farms. The farms aren't able to produce. Okay, thank you very much, Phyllis. Well, let me see. Um, the caller there saying, make farm, uh, farming or agriculture uh, fashionable, something you can tweet about. You know, young people are about tweeting and Facebook. So how do we make it that fashionable? I, I would say it's really fashionable. Yes. Um, the department has uh, those gadgets. Um, your, your, your Twitter, your, your we are on Facebook. Okay. We do have a, a, a Limpopo Agri um, uh, system okay. that we talk to, to our people. Okay. I think it's a matter of us uh, you know, rolling it out so that it should reach out to, to everybody. But I'll talk to my uh, IT guys okay. to say the youth are really interested to, to, to start tweeting on, on agricultural products. Ambassador, bringing the youth and making agriculture more enterprising for young people. But it's a business, and of course it's interesting and exciting. If you can run a dairy and do it with technology, mm -hmm. right? Not the old-fashioned way, but using modern technology to make the cows have better production, to use ways to be able to get it to market to get a better profit. That's the way to get to Twitter, right? Twitter doesn't matter. 
Okay. The real way is to think of opportunities to feed South Africans, to create business opportunities, to be able to use modern technologies to make a profit. And I think that agriculture has lots of those possibilities. Throughout Israel, agriculture is a business, and an export business, and a good business, a successful one. One of our most successful drip irrigation companies, Nitafim, has invested in South Africa because it knows that there's potential to grow. Another one, more, which grows persimmons in the Western Cape for export to, to Germany and to France, pro gives profit for South Africa and for Israel. That's what's cool. That's what's interesting, I think, for young people. They want opportunities to succeed and to use modern technology, but also in the area of food security, in water management, to benefit both South Africa and uh, your, your young people. Mala, you are in Beggar's Fort. Uh, hello, Mpo. Yes. Allow me to utilize my mother tongue, Mpo, so that I can present. <laughs> no, look, I'm going to ask you, 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 i Bacilica Evil, <laughs> Let me just uh, interpret uh, what Mala was saying for mm. the ambassador here and other viewers like him. Mala is basically saying that this buzzer scheme that the MEC is referring to, we're not seeing a lot of it in this area of Skukuni. Uh, he basically, he's calling from uh, 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 Beggar's Fort, and he says around the Recorp area, you go to the municipality there, there doesn't seem to be knowledge about all these uh, 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 support systems that uh, the MEC is talking about. Or perhaps, maybe, it's only people in Makado mm. or so uh, who know about this because those are the ones who had come to uh, 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 their area to say in agriculture there's life. Um, maybe that the Mala has gone to a local municipality. Mm -hmm. And every local municipality also do have their own schemes of bursaries. Okay. But as a department, we are having uh, five sub-districts that are for agriculture. I would like to agree with him because uh, we are intending to move our offices of agriculture to Sekukuni. Okay. Currently, Sikukuni is being serviced by uh, Leboa Homo, which is very much unfair in terms of the distance. Okay. But uh, we, in local municipalities, we do have our officials that some of them are stationed there okay. to assist the people in those communities. Hold it there. Courage, you are in Johannesburg. Welcome. Yes, thank you, Paul, for uh, allowing me a chance to participate. You're welcome. Just to, uh, you know, add my uh, suggestion, this agriculture should be introduced at primary level. I'm well versed with the South African education system. Why I stand to be corrected, I do not think there are, you know, schools uh, that are actually doing this agriculture at primary. You know, if they are, they are very few. So this, uh, you know, um, idea of uh, introducing bursaries and uh, trying to attract, you know, especially the youth to the agricultural uh, sector is very brilliant. But let us try start from the grassroots level. I tell you, Mpo, I started doing agriculture at grade three, and uh, it's a time where we were used to, you know, uh, be exposed to the basics of agriculture. Now, if you ask me to, 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 to run a farm, I can do that because I started when I was young. So let the, the, the government, you know, consider that 
think, you know, uh, teaching them by very, very young. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Let me see. You had that. He's suggesting that agriculture needs to be a, a learner subject from primary school. Um, I welcome the suggestion, mm. but it is true that uh, it, uh, it, it is a subject that we, st we, we, we inculcate from, from primary schools. Mm. Because uh, one of the competitions that we're doing, we're also giving seedlings to, to primary schools. Okay. And in, it's actually their teachers and, and the learners that are actually uh, 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 planting those uh, seedlings that we're giving. Okay. But also we do have high schools. Um, I did do a, an imbizo uh, visiting high schools that we have in Limpopo. You have Kushke, you have uh, Harry Oppenheimer, you have the, there's a one in Vembe. Uh, mm. Um, it's a Baldo uh, subsidized schools. Just to check uh, the capacity that is there in terms of our, our educators, just to check also uh, the learners, those that are really interested in agriculture. And they'll show you what they're doing in, mm. the, in their gardens. So I, I, I welcome that, that, that I advise, but uh, we are starting there. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Ambassador, what are you doing as Israel here in South Africa? Well, what we did and what we're continuing to do is to tell our story, to get out there, to get to places like Limpopo or to the Eastern Cape and showing our friends in South Africa some of the things that Israel went through. Our land is as dry as ours, as yours. Our, we, don't, we get less rain than you do. But one of the things we do is to encourage young people, often after their national service, after military, to come work in agriculture with tax benefits, with bursaries, with something like that, mm -hmm. with, with business opportunities, and to show people how they can be successful. And so what we're doing is talking to more and more South Africans, not in Pretoria or in Johannesburg just, but getting outside around the country, introducing people to what Israel's done, what opportunities to work together are, and how South Africa can succeed. You can be food secure. You can grow enough things. The government, together with business, together with young people need to get together and do these modern techniques, save water, and feed your country. Banky, you are in Johannesburg. Hello, sir. Yes, welcome. I just would like to express my, uh, what, let me say, question, to, especially to, to the MEC there. Okay. My question is to ask if um, it is true that the developed states yes. through um, institutions such as the IMF, World Bank, and um, maybe the trade, World Trade Organization mm -hmm. have somehow indirectly stifled agricultural export growth through the discouragement of, um, um, I'll say, incentives or grants that must be given to upcoming farmers so that um, farming can be cool, as you, as, as you say. Okay. But um, the, the other question as well is that, is the NEC um, um, as government, are they ready to quench the appetite for farming that they are raising from the, from the young people? I mean, is, is there enough land to give okay. to the young people to farm? Thank you. Okay, let me say very quickly. Um, yes, in terms of land, remember we are from Limpopo, it's uh, vastly rural. Mm. And there's a lot of communal land available. And uh, fortunately, uh, we do have good relationship with our uh, traditional leadership. So for those that will need a, a piece of land, we are assisting them as, as we are engaging with our traditional leadership to provide land for them. But uh, I heard him talking about uh, access to finance. Um, it is true. That's not cool for the youth. Uh -huh for them to can easily get access to, to finance. Our banks, as you know, they need collateral. Yes. You will need to have to pay 20% for them to give you 80%. Where does a young person get that if he is not working? Mm. But as a department, we do have a plan. Where, the, like I said, we do have programs where we can assist them in a, you know, giving them starter pack of uh, seedlings, your mechanizations that are they Will you bring in tractors to plow the land? 
Definitely, yes. We do have uh, tractors that are owned by the department. For free? Uh, for free, yes. If, 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 if you have made an application, okay. uh, uh, the, 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 the Afri application is properly processed, okay. and uh, we have satisfied ourselves that you can be a, 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 a farmer that will be really be a, a pr productive to, to the province. Okay. We do buy tractors. Land reform do buy tractors. Department of Trade and Industry do buy tractors. We have just delivered, DTI has just delivered, I think, five, tr five tractors in one eighty in Vembe. Okay. Let me see. Unfortunately, we've run out of time, Ambassador. But thank you very much. Continue doing the good work there, ensuring that there's food security in the country. And young people, farming is cool. It is sad. That was question time for today. A big thank you to my guests. And to you for watching the show. For me and the crew, you have yourself a wonderful time. Goodbye.